In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure PortFast in a Cisco switch. PortFast uh, brings or immediately brings an interface configured and an access port or trunk port to the forwarding state from a blocking state, bypassing the learning and listening states, or the bypassing the listening and learning states. Caution: Use po PortFast only when connecting a single end station to an access or trunk port. Enabling this feature on an interface connected to a switch or hub could prevent span entry from detecting and disabling loops in your network, which could cause broadcast storms and address learning problems. So even if you uh, configure port fastening on a port, uh, span entry is still or yeah, it's still running on that port or VPDU is being sent on that port. And we're going to actually uh, simulate this later. Uh, there's two kinds of configurations. We have interface, we have the interface configuration or it's basically two, two types or two ways to configure port fast. You can uh, enable it or configure it on a single port or you can enable it on all the on all the access ports by default on a switch. So I have this topology here. Uh, it's just you know a switch connected to a PC. So let me go ahead and just copy and paste these commands. So first is I'm going to enable it on a single port. That's how you enable it. And yeah. So yeah, uh, that was kind of fast. So it says there's a warning here. Um, hold on, let me just, yeah, I, I remove it. <clears throat> I was trying to, to uh, simulate it before the video. I mean, before making this video. Um, so yeah, there is a warning here that says port fast should only be enabled on ports connected to, connected to a single host. Connecting hubs, concentrators, switches, bridges, etc., to this interface when port fast is enabled can cause temporary bridging loops. So you're not supposed to uh, enable again uh, enable this enable port fast on a port that is connected to a switch or hub. So that's how you, config, you can configure it on a single port. And this is how you can just basically enable it on all the uh, access ports by default on a switch. And I've got some uh, verification commands. And this is the first command. So we see that this port is now in it's now in designated in the designated role, and it's in the forwarding state state. And you can just add a detail at the end. This is this will tell you or this will give you more information. And it says here that the port is in the pro forward fast mode, and <clears throat> uh, BPDU is increasing still. I believe. Uh, hmm, great. Uh, I believe what uh, what does VPDU stand for? I kind of forgot now. Bridge Protocol Data Unit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Correct. Bridge Protocol Data Unit. And um, this is you know another command that you can uh, use to. Uh, verify that you know all the ports are now in the port fast mode by default. So this one here it says that this port is in the port fast mode by default, and this this port uh, as well. And all the ports actually here. And just to simulate this uh, statement here, that you know when a when you enable a port, I mean, when you enable port fast on a port, that 
uh, port will transition automatically or immediately from the blocking state to the forwarding state by passing the listening and learning state or states. So let me just um, go into the interface, interface, and shut it down and no shut. Or before I do that, let me just run this command first. Debug command. Um, shut it down already, right? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and no shut it. Now it says here that, <clears throat> yeah, yeah the, the port came up, uh, changed state to up, and it says that uh, this port came, I mean, jumped to forwarding, forwarding from blocking. So we now know that this statement is correct. So yeah, that's how you can, that's how PortFast works and that's how you can configure it. Um, again, there's still ways to configure it. You can configure it on a single port or you can configure it on all the ports by default on the uh, global configuration mode. Yeah, so that's it. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching.